How's it going, YouTube? It's me, Conan Death here again, back with another video. And uh, yes, I look different. I shaved. I got really tired of that mess. Um, so this is uh, actually my first video I've made after reaching uh, 1,000 subscribers, and uh, I wanted I wanted to venture into the uh, venture more into the uh, Japanese music scene, but particularly um, the their early um, I guess their 80s and 90s uh, heavy metal scene, and this is uh, in relation to the Lo the Love Bite song that I reacted to. Um, this probably not the perfect song to react to uh, right out the bat because it's 30 minutes long, but. Uh, this is a uh, revisitation, if you will, because uh, I haven't heard a song in its entirety in a long, long time. Um, I think the last time I heard it was when I, I, I took a, I, I took a, like understanding music course for college as a, it, it, I needed it for a credit, and I used this, uh, and I, I used this song for my final uh, paper, and I got like a ninety. Uh, like a 95 on it because this song has so many elements and incorporates a lot of classical music it incorporates music uh from uh i can't remember it incorporates music from the uh from uh i believe the 1800s i can't remember the, compo the composer the composer's name but um as i did as i did my research uh the writer of the song uh Yoshiki actually um actually based it on this particular piece and it was like a, a continuation of this musical piece i'll put it on the screen what, what i'm talking about and the arrangement of the song is so beautiful um it's probably one of the best songs composed that 90 percent of the world probably hasn't heard of and that's what I think about the band X Japan. They're probably one of the greatest bands that ninety percent of the world hasn't heard of. Um, they were one of the great uh, pioneers of metal in Japan, and this is why. Um, th and this is why they're uh, one of my favorite Japanese bands. And this is why I want to do a a uh, re a uh, revisitation reaction to. Uh, to some of the songs so let's get this started it's three minutes long it's going to be a long video but you are going to you're going to love it if you like classical music heavy 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 metal music uh speed metal uh what's it called uh uh the theatrical um lots lots of meaning lots of meaning between the p piano playing and towards the middle of the song uh you just use the same but 30 minutes long let's go oh, it's been a long time and you and you you'll probably see why i said this band when i heard Lo the love bites edge of the world because it's a lot of elements in there for instance oh, this gives me chills by the way, the, the paper I wrote on this song, Avex Japan, was like uh, 20 pages. I, I included video clips, like, it, the whole nine yards, and I, I did. I got 95% uh, uh, 95 on it. The the music teacher, the uh, the professor never even heard of this band at all or this song, and they were amazed by the connections uh to the the classical piece that uh that i linked Jesus! 
like uh, uh, the intro to this, the intro to uh, the uh, Love Bites Edge of the World is just where I made my connection, and of course, uh, everyone put their inputs on uh, metal bands from Europe and Metallica and Slayer and all that. And I'll, I'll probably hear that in songs that I, I react to them uh, in song and more and more Love Bites songs I react to, but. Uh, in particularly that song, uh, Edge of the World, is what I heard a lot of elements uh, similar to uh, X Japan. Just wait till you see this crowd. Oh yeah, subtitles. I think the subtitles were in the description. And um, the the lead guitarist here, Hide. Uh, I don't know if any of y'all watch the Zilch video I posted. Uh, Electric Cucumber. Uh, he was the frontman of that band, and um, I actually got a. I'll show it later, but I got a tattoo of his little logo here because uh, I don't know it's just his personality, his charisma, his drive, and uh, it really impacted my life. Like in two thousand two thousand seven. Uh, and like, it was like, a when you're learning about different, different things in other countries, it's almost like a, a shock to find out, you know, that this person passed away and it's like, wow, this, what, you know, what could have been. heavy too.
Also, you probably shouldn't watch this video if you like have uh, epilepsy because this is this is giving me freaking episodes. probably my, my, my favorite uh uh part of so song the, the sequence right here and the, the fact that the, he wrote this when he was in his 20s it's it's insane <laughs> I'm going in on the drums too, man, for 30 minutes straight. You can hear it in the back, like, very, very, uh, softly in the background, the, uh, the, like, uh, the, uh, orchestra instruments. I don't even know what they're called. String instruments.
I listened to this song, Listen to Love by Edge of the World, and don't, and, and tell me you don't see the similarities between not only the lyrics, but the dual solos, rhythms, crazy bass, uh, bass and drums, the works, you know. Oh, I forget how long this song is. I still got, what, what, what like uh, 18 minutes? like a mini interlude type of thing coming in. switches from the drums back to the piano playing. God, I'm just so... I don't know how... Stamina, man. Real quick, this uh, this part of the piano, and as he prog progresses in, in this uh, piano playing, and it gets more chaotic. There's there's a little meaning behind it, and I mean, I I research I researched this song, I studied this song, so it read here and in here, and to even get the meaning behind it, and it's you know, if you if what are you what are you like if you're like a musical theorists or whatever they're called and you, you, you'll probably get it right away just from the the sounds I mean the notes
I wish I could find that that paper I wrote because I I explained everything like in so much detail and, and so much clearer. Um, but oh, dang, I don't, it's it's over. It's been over ten years. I I'll never I'm never gonna find it. <laughs>
Oh, that was intentional too. And when I read up on what he was trying to convey, it was really um blew my mind, honestly. This transition, I, I think, is coming up, if I remember correctly. Yeah. I think it's coming up. Oh, that's so fucking hard. Wedding on the drums.
did a song follow through with no mess ups. It's uh, uh, still mind boggling to me. The passionate drummer. boy is tired man Yoshiki oh my god that was first time I heard that song in its entirety in 12 years I took that 13 years I, I, took, I took that course in 2008 god I wish I can uh, pull up that but it it wasn't in paper it was um, all typed up and sent uh, through email and it had like links he had links to it to an old YouTube video of this song those specific parts where I, I reference uh the partic that particular um uh classical piece. Um but again I I I'll have it uh I'll have it uh light late on the screen. Again that uh, this is not uh for the faint of heart. This is not for people who can't sit through a song, a 30 minute song. This is uh, a really bad in introduction to uh, X Japan, uh, a bad introduction uh, in into their music. So, but um, I wanted to start here because this, because this basically, because this got me a A in my uh, history course, not history course, in my musical course I needed to graduate. And um, it it's always gonna it's always gonna uh be a part of my part of my life and um the lyrics the composition the layout it's uh it's, it's everything uh um I really don't know what to say it's it's instant classic and um and I I'll get I'll get to more uh the revisit some more of them song of their songs. They have a lot of ballads, a lot of uh like speed, thrash metal, uh thrash metal songs. Um it's 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 a whole experience. So if you like the reaction, if you even got to this part of the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and uh don't forget to subscribe for more content. Um as always Art of Life. What is Art of Life? Yeah. I believe in the madness called love. Till next time. <laughs>